everyone. My name is Sierra Flores and I am the Everyday Educator. So if you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like the video if it helps you, share it with your teaching buddies, and then also subscribe so that that way you never miss a video. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Obviously you like something that I'm doing, so you're here again. Thank you, I like you too. So the content for today's video is all about how to create a sandbox in Canvas. And so for that, a lot of people, their first question is, what is a sandbox? Isn't that something that um, my kids play in or that I played in when I was little? What is that? Well, that's exactly what it is. It is a little area for you to play in online. And so this is a type of course specific to Canvas and there are no students, there are no grades, and it's just you in the course playing around, meaning that you're learning how to use Canvas, how to navigate, how to create pages, courses, how to create modules, assignments, mastery tasks. All of these things happen in your sandbox. And if you watch any of my other tutorials on Canvas, all of them are going to take place in that sandbox. So without further ado, let's get into it. Yes see that I am in my dashboard. And so I'm gonna navigate here to the file folder and this tab is called resources. Now, I do want to note, this may look different for you if you are not in my school district, but for those of you watching who are in my school district, this is your exact screen. So click resources. And then here you are gonna see an entire um, section of nothing but training and goodies for you. Go here to create a sandbox course. And so now you'll notice here, ready? I don't have access. And the reason why is because I am signed in with my personal account. I need to sign in with my Google account. And so if you look up here, it says non-CMS account. And so you're not ever gonna be able to create that course unless you are signed in with your CMS account. So I'm going to switch that account and use my school address. And there I am. I just created my course. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. And so I am going to scroll here to course name. But just know that this course is unpublished. There are no students and you cannot change this name. Well, you can change the course name, but it's this annoying, arduous process. And nobody wants to go through that just to change a fake course's name. So Name it something that um, you'll be able to remember it by. So for me, I'm going to call it Practice Course 3 because I have multiple sandboxes for demonstration purposes. And then of course, click this check mark because that lets you um, reread the sentence that says the same thing I just told you. No grades, no students, no name changes. Submit. All right, come on wizardry, let's go. Boom, course created. Now I'm going to go to my course. A common question that people ask is, well, after I find my course, how do I get back to it? So you'll go here to your master list of courses, and you may have some that are already published if you've used Kansas, Can, Kansas, if you've used Canvas before, but here you'll go down to your unpublished courses. All right, and so I have practice course one and I deleted practice course two, and now I have practice course three. So let's say that you're in here, you're playing around, you're in pra your practice course, and you've learned everything that you need to learn. Um, well, there is a way for you to take the activities that you have learned and created in Canvas and transfer those over to a real course. Um, August, whenever your students are populated and you have actual kids, there is a way to do that. So don't feel like everything you create in here is just for no reason, because you can use those again and again and again. So now let's say that you want to delete this sandbox course. You'll notice that I have a menu here, navigation menu. And so what I'm going to do is scroll down to settings, and you'll see that that menu is going to change. 
Aha, see how it changed? Now I'm going to go to delete this course because I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to delete this course. And now I'm back to having just one sandbox for me to practice in. And again, to find that sandbox, I'm going to go to courses, scroll down and go to my unpublished courses. And there's my practice course. So that was that. Now you know how to create your very own unpublished sandbox course. So if this was helpful for you, please click like, share it with your teaching buddies, and then also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting new content every single week.